Imagine you are juggling multiple tasks at work, meeting deadlines, keeping track of team responsibilities and remembering client preferences. Now picture having a virtual assistant that not only remembers important dates but also nudges you about them right when you need it. This is the magic of ChatGPT's memory feature. For example, you are leading a marketing campaign due on June 30th. By simply telling ChatGPT, remember my marketing campaign deadline is on June 30th. It's got your back. Now ChatGPT can remind you about this deadline in future chats, help you plan steps to meet this deadline or update it if things change. ChatGPT acts almost like a co-worker who's on top of the details, allowing you to focus on the bigger picture. This feature transforms how you manage tasks, making sure you are always a step ahead. And before we commence guys, just a quick info for you. If you are one of the aspiring AI and ML enthusiasts looking for online training and graduating from the best universities, or a professional who elicits to switch career in AI and ML by learning from the experts, then try giving a shot to Simply Learn's postgraduate program in AI and ML in collaboration with Purdue University and IBM. You can enroll in this course with the link in the description box below and pin comment. So let's get started. So guys, let's see. So memory in chat GPT allows the AI to keep track of information shared in past conversations. And this capability enhances the way chat GPT interacts with users by using previously mentioned details to provide more tailored and relevant responses. Think of it as a having a digital assistant that remembers your preferences and past discussions to make each conversation smoother and more personalized. I will show you guys from where you can turn this memory feature on. You just have to go to your username, click on that, then go to settings and then click on personalization. Here's the memory feature. You just have to turn it on and you can go to manage to check it has stored any memory regarding you or not and you can clear the chat GPT's memory also. So it's up to you whether you want to keep the memory or you want to delete it or what memory you want him to keep or what memory you want it to delete. So this feature is handled by you only and you could see that this memory feature is accessible for the chat GPT 4 plus users and the enterprise users and they have a description here that chat GPT will become more helpful as you chat picking up on details and preferences is tailor its responses to you and you can click here learn more and get a hands on where it will show as this is the official website for OpenAI and they have memory and new controls for chat GPT and here you could see that this is the managed memory section that I showed you this is the manage memory section as currently I don't have any memory stored in the chat GPT. They have some memory store that is has a two year old daughter named Lena. Daughter Lena loves jellyfish. So these are the kinds of memories that has been stored and you could see they have mentioned how memory works. So as you with chat GPT you can ask it to remember something specific or let it pick up and these details can be used in the further chats. I will provide you some examples and I will show you some prompts that how could you use this memory feature and how this will help you in prioritizing your task or if you are dedicated to your fitness journey or you are like working on any project. So how could this feature help you? So let's move and see you are in control. So what they're doing here is I think they will be showing how you can use the memory and delete the memory accordingly and viewing and managing memory that's in the manage section you can view and there's a temporary chat section that if you want to conversate without storing the memory. So I will show you guys where this option is. So when you click on chat GPT4 there's a temporary chat section. If you just turn it on like you, you could see here that it won't store any history, no model training and the memory is off here. If you click on continue so you would start conversation in the chat GPT with the temporary chat section and he won't store any memory regarding this conversation. So we will close this temporary chat as we will be using the memory section here and you could use the custom instructions also that chat GPT and that would be more helpful. So the custom instructions they are here. You could just use customized chat GPT and you could provide some custom instructions but they are generic. So what we want is we want the memory to be stored and the chat GPT should use the memory for further chats. So you could see that. So they've also mentioned evolving our privacy and safety standards here. And then they have shown that team and enterprise customers can work more efficiently as they have got this feature. So for enterprise and team users, memory can be useful when using chat GPT for work. And chat GPT can remember your tone, voice and format preferences. Like how you want. So you could use chat GPT 
to remember your tone, voice and format preferences and he can write in your own tone like how you write, how you use some keywords, how your English is, like how fluent and what's your tone. ChatGPT can deduce it from its memory and use that and provide the same output as you want. So this is about the ChatGPT memory thing. So GPTs will also have memory, they have mentioned it. So I will show you guys what are GPTs. So here's the explore GPT section and there are many that are provided by OpenAI only. Like these are featured ones, these are trending ones that is image generator, logo generator and you can create your own GPT also that's here. Here's the create section and these are by chat GPT by OpenAI team only. Data analyst, DALI, port modes, creative writing. So they will also have the feature of storing memory. So let's see an example like uh, they have provided it like the books gpt helps you find your next read with memory enabled it remembers your preferences such as favorite genres or top books and tailors recommendations accordingly without needing repeated inputs so it will make your task easier as you don't have to input all the prompts they will have their memory they will just refine it retune it get the memory get your genres your preferences and they will suggest you so now moving on we will have some or we will discuss some applications where you could use it so let's start with the applications so if you are managing some project or a project manager you could use the chat gpt memory feature like you can keep track of ongoing projects deadlines and responsibilities or if you are a student and you are learning something so the chat gpt can remember the users learning goals that i want to learn some language and dedicate it to these weeks so provide me a roadmap and the daily when you will be learning with chat gpt it will remind you that today is this day and you should accomplish all these codes or the tasks that are provided to learn that language so similarly if you have personalized recommendations for that application also that could be recall preferences in books movies or restaurants to offer customized recommendations and in your health and fitness journey also you could ask him to track fitness goals, dietary restrictions and exercise preferences to provide tailored advice. So let's see an example prompt for memory storage. So let's see the example for project management. Let's start it. So we will ask him to remember that my project deadline for the marketing campaign and we can name it like any marketing campaign rise up marketing campaign named rise up okay uh, is june 30th okay so you could see here that he's updating the memory memory updated so project deadline for the market campaign name rise up is june 30th you can go to settings personalization and the manage memory you could see here that it has stored this memory that project deadline for the marketing campaign name rise up is june 30th so similarly he remembers the things and will help you that this deadline is on june 30th and how you will be proceeding with your chats he will help you to like meet the deadline so you won't miss the deadline and he will guide you with all the outputs and if we see another prompt that could be if you are interested in learning something so you can ask him that keep that in mind and if we discuss something provide those outputs also that you could ask him that i am interested in learning about renewable energy that i am interested in learning about renewable energy so keep that in mind for our discussions <coughs> you could see that he's updating the memory when you will see or write these prompts now that keep that in mind or remember so he will store that in your in the memory and he will guide you accordingly so you have written there that keep that in mind like this is spell mistake but he has updated the memory 
So these kind of prompts allow ChatGPT to store relevant details, which it can recall in future conversations to make the interaction more personalized and context aware. So let's focus on the application of project management using ChatGPT's memory feature. So we'll write some of the prompts and we'll see how he will guide us for the project management. So we'll start here and ask him that remember that the next review meeting for the rise up project is scheduled for May 20th at 3 p.m. So we have provided this information to him and he will store this into the memory as you could see that he is updating the memory memory updated you could go back click on settings personalization and check whether it has done that or not and if you want to clear that you could do that and if you want a specific memory to be cleared you could delete from here or you could just ask him by writing the prompt that i mentioned you to keep the track of review meeting for the rise up project you can delete that memory i that meeting is rescheduled or that meeting is cancelled so he will delete that memory so you could use that feature also and and similarly you could see that it has provided us the output that quoted your next review meeting for the riser project is scheduled for may 20th at 3 pm if there's anything you would like to prepare or discussion before then let's just let me know so you could start the conversation here or we will ask him some other prompts that keep in mind that sarah is the lead designer on the on this project and make sure to include her in relevant updates so we'll provide this prompt also to ChatGPT to store in memory that keep in mind so these kind of prompts that keep in mind this will allow ChatGPT to store that into the memory that sarah is the lead designer uh, on this project that is we will mention the project only on the rise up project and make sure to include her in relevant updates okay and after this you could ask him that you need some reports so can you draft me reports you could just provide him the xlsx file or excel file or what prompt you can write here is i need to submit the budget report for the sustainability initiative by the end of next month for this project so keep that in mind and the deadline for this budget report will be like it's may 20th you could prepare it before may 19th so he will help you with that so i will write the prompt so you guys can understand how it will that i need to submit the budget report for the sustainability initiative and for this project only for this project and that to add the deadline was may 20th so and that to at may 15th so that's up to you like what you want to tell him to remember so ask him that we should discuss this in the upcoming chats and you can also ask him that i will provide you the excel file and after that we can start preparing the report or just let me remember these things so you could see that it has provided that understood you need to submit the budget report for the sustainability initiative for the rise up project by may 15 so we can discuss this in our upcoming chats to make sure you are fully prepared if there's any specifics you want to start with let me know okay so here we will start with the budget report only so let's start with budget report and have a roadmap to complete it till the deadline so let's see what it will respond so you could see that it has started generating the response that you have the deadline on may 15 so first is gather the data then structure the report draft the content review and revise finalize the report submission preparation and submit the report so the number one is gather data 
we have the xlx file so you could provide it here and as this is the hypothetical example so really i don't have the file what i am telling you is if you have the file just provide to him and he will start structuring the report and what you want to show in the report like if you want to create the dashboard or you want to create the graphs or you want to analyze the data he will do that for you just ask him that these are the functions and these are the dashboards or these are the graphs i need so he will start drafting that so this is how the memory is used and how you can store it and how you can use it for any purpose so similarly we can use another example that could be so i will create a new chart for that that i want some recipes or healthy recipes uh, as i have started working out and remember i am allergic to peanuts okay so this is the point that what recipes he will provide he should keep in mind that i am allergic to peanuts so he won't include peanuts in that so you could see that it has spread the response and it has updated the memory here so that's great to hear that you're focusing on fitness on health and the first recipe is tuna and black bean salad and then we have chicken and avocado wraps veggie stir fry with tofu so similarly you could keep your journey accordingly that now he knows that you are allergic to peanuts if you want any recipe without being the specific to healthy thing so he will keep that in mind and won't include peanuts in your recipes so this is how you could use the memory feature and the team and enterprise customers can work more efficiently with this chat gpt feature and you can learn your style and preferences and build upon past interactions chat gpt will help you provide all the outcomes and you also knew that it has memory section for the gpts also so i think we have covered all the things for this new feature that is chat gpt memory and if you want you could go to settings personalization if you want you can turn off the memory if you don't want chat gpt to store the memory just click turn off click on the section turn off and if you want anything to delete it you can delete it from here or you could just type the prompt that would have told you about the allergy to peanuts just delete that prompt or delete that memory as now i am fit for the peanuts so getting back and the thing that we have the temporary chat section also that won't store any memory so this is the section that is temporary chat if you have conversation here it won't be storing any memory for you and you could just go on and write all the prompts here so with that guys we have come to the end of this session and we have discussed about the chat gpt memory feature and how it can be useful for upcoming generations so if you have any doubts comment down in the comment section below Till then, stay safe and keep learning. Like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel, and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.